Welcome to Dark Ages Tutorials. In this session, I'll be teaching you how to create box collisions in 3ds Max to be imported into UDK. Uh, I will be adding box collisions to this quick house I made. So let's get started. First of all, you want to drag out a rectangle. So go to your create, get a box, and drag it out reasonably sized to the wall you want to collide. Like so. And then in the modify, name this box UCX underscore, and then make sure that you name your collisions or else you might get confused which collision goes where. So I'm going to call this UCX underscore building because I'm attaching it to a building that I've made. I've also named the model building. So I know that this collision box goes with this object. So let's just scale this inwards, like so, and then move it over into the wall itself. You've got to make sure that the box collision does not touch the mesh of the actual building or else this will cause problems in UDK so as you can see none of the lines are crossing over let's make sure in all views yep that's pretty good let's just check up here move that up a little bit like so there we go now by holding shift oops, by holding shift and then moving in an axis you create a clone. There we go. Create clone, copy, and as you see, it adds a number. This means I don't have to keep uh, creating box collisions by eye. I can just copy them. So click OK, and then move it to the other wall, making sure that it doesn't cross the lines. So move that in there, like so. Let me scale this one in a little bit. There we go. And then the same for the other two, well, the other wall, back wall here. So let's rotate this. So rotate, hold shift, 90 degrees, like so. Push yes, or we'll press OK. And then move that into the back wall. So here, move it along, making sure it's all within the lines. Make sure it doesn't cross any or touch any other box collisions. So just scale it in if it's getting a little bit close. There we go. All the box collisions seem okay now. Yep, not touching any other of the walls. Now, for the door, what I'm going to do is I'm going to again copy the box collision, bring it forwards, and then I'm going to scale it so that scale. So that it fits either side of the door, making sure not to touch any of the other box collisions. So get that all in line first of all, then scale it inwards, then move it a little bit again. There we go, just to make sure. There we go, and then I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this, bring it the other side of the door. Like so, making sure again they're not touching, and then selecting both of them using control, you're going to move them back together. So, I use a top view for this, slide them into place. There we go. Now, we just need a box above the door. So, I think I'll actually shrink these both down. 
so I can get one above the door. Shrink, shrink, shrink. There we go, move them together. This is why I put them together, because I can move them at the same time. There we go. Now I'm selecting one of them. I'm just going to copy it. Move it up. I shrink it so it's it'll just copy cover this uh, top area here. So use your scale tool. Let's scale that down. It doesn't have to be too precise because there are other box collisions as well that will help it. So just move that up and across like so. I'm using this arrow here to center it. I'll zoom in, get it more aligned, there we go, and scale outwards. So now the top is collidable. Now there's only one more thing we need to collide, and that is the ceiling. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go find one of these side box collisions. I'll select it in this view. There we go. Just copy and drag that out. Like so. And rotate it 90 degrees. There we go. This will become the collision for the ceiling. So I'm just going to move that up. And then shrinking it so that it's just smaller than the ceiling itself. So let's just scale that in, pull that out. Let's have a look at that. To make sure it's just smaller than the ceiling. Because I don't want it touching any of the of the other box collisions. Or the mesh. So there we go. Move that down. There's the ceiling, that line there is the ceiling, so I'm just going to move this down on top of it, and there we go, that's the ceiling added. Now we're almost ready to take our model into UDK, so let's just make sure we've got all our collisions set up, let's go to wireframe, so we got walls, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a ceiling. Yep, that seems to all be in order. So let's export this into UDK. So we want to go to File, Export, Export. It's better if I deselect everything, sorry. So deselect everything, go File. Export, export, and I've already created a file system for this one. So collisions, I've named it collisions, and in here I've got the model, the textures, and the UDK. So go into wherever you're exporting, export as ASC2 scene export, ASE format. As you can see, I've already got one in here called test, because I always make sure that my tutorials work. So I'm going to call this one building. And save. Make sure mesh definition, materials, mesh normals, and mapping coordinates are all on. Geometric and helpers are all on. So press OK and it'll just export. Now that's exported, let's go into UDK. Go into our content browser and let's start importing stuff like we did last time. Ah, there we go. So let's go into building meshes, import. Let's go to our Area here, there we go. UDK. So I've gone to my folder, 
where I saved my export. There it is, building. Name my package buildings. Not building assets. Assets. There we go. Now I'll name it building. Press OK. Press OK. And here is our building. So let's just drag that out. Let's scale it a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to import the materials. Import collisions, textures, building. Package was building assets. Name it building texture. That's okay. And it will just import that texture now. There we go. Let's make a new material. New factory material. Name it building material. Press OK. Make sure it's in the assets folder. And here is our material. So let's just bring that across. Drag our texture in there. Connect the diffuse. And then press OK. Right, that's all done. So here's our building material. Drag that onto our building. Here is our house. So let's see if that all works, shall we? So play, cross your fingers, play from here. There we go. I'm now colliding with my walls inside my building. It's all collidable. Let's try and jump through the ceiling. Nope, not happening. So there it is. How to create box collisions in 3ds Max to import into UDK. That's Start Cable Tutorials. See you next time.